Hello and welcome to this week's Nerd Talk to Kill a DJ edition. I'm Pixie. Oh, I'm Seth. And I'm a little bit sick, but I don't care. Woo! It seems, it seems kind of like a jerk move, really, to... Uh... We're spreading Pixie's diseases all over the airwaves. Hey. And forgetting to quiet the auto DJ. What the heck? Quiet auto DJ. It was DJ. off. I swear it was off. See that? It's we, gray. That metal wanted to play so hard. It would... I'm, I'm telling you it was off. <laughs> All right, then. So, if you are listening in with us, you can do our regular thing and join us at nerdtalkshow.com. Just click that little listen in box and join our chat. Um, I, I forget, are we actually broadcasting through that as well tonight? Um, I think we should be streaming. I'm not sure. Chatbox, are, are we streaming? Can you hear us through the Nerd Talk site? Come on, Chatbox. There's going to be, like, an eight-second delay before they hear anything, you know? Well, yeah, that's kind of normal. Yep, we are streaming. Yay! Sweet. So you guys can hear us. But if you're listening to us through the radio, fine 88.1 FM? Yes. Yay, I can remember our station's ID. Um, <laughs> I, thanks, Luca. Appreciate it. We've already got some listeners in chat, but there is a delay today. So you guys might be hearing us a little late. Uh, but you can tune in at WLRA.com. WLRARadio.com. There you go. The, uh, their internet stream. But we're also streaming at our website at nerdtalkshow.com slash listen. But we've got an eight second delay. So, yeah. Um, that's the nature of radio, though. M- most professional uh, uh, studios have much longer ones, actually. We are prepared to dump your call. Hey, it's Underscores. Welcome to the show. Hello, Underscores. Always a delight to see you. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> Yep. You're missing that expression, guys. I'm sorry we don't have the webcam up today, mostly because Sen wants to avoid the plague I'm carrying, so we can't be. Yeah, no, to no camera to each today. Other. That and I don't think anyone would want to watch six hours of us sitting in the studio. Uh, Luke is only getting us on iTunes, which is kind of weird. Hey, I wait. We can stream over iTunes. iTunes radio, radio maybe. I don't know. Man, we're awesome. So much streaming for us. Cool. Well, you guys can find ways to listen to us. We always enjoy listeners. So maybe we can have Pyro add the uh, the WLRA radio link to, the- to, uh, to chat so that those who just come into chat will be able to catch us that way. Okay, so it was down. It's up now. All right. Now so it's Luca, up. try it again. Yeah, you can now listen through our site. I would like to mention that... Um, Hang on, i got to get my list. We have a fine set of sponsors that we'd like to thank for their contribution to Advocate Hope Children's Hospitals to Kill a DJ Fund. Family Assistance Fund. Yep. Leave it to you to not get the name of the charity we've suffered for for like two years, right? We will uh, We'll start by thanking Luca because she's actually in chat. Luca and her awesome sauce sprites uh, contributed some really awesome sprites of the original Pokemon. (laughs) I see what you did there. Oh, don't make me laugh, it hurts. (laughs) Prepare to be in pain. I All brought right. my funny game. And by that, I mean mostly my face. Which Nobody you guys can can't even see. see that. Yeah. Your private joke. All right, then. Um, so, yeah, we'll be on. And to- hey, oh, our hey. first guest Woo. has arrived. Sweet. Awesome. And we timing. haven't even had a chance to introduce you yet, dude. Wow. So, you yeah. Your headphones? Grab a seat. Grab the headphones. I have headphones. I just don't have an adapter. We, we found totally one. Have an adapter. Adapter. We have the studio plug. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and put that bag on the Is that floor. What all while the ladies we f- call you said. While we finish our introductions, we all would right. also like to thank Leisure Hour Hobbies and Joliet for their fine contribution. Whose website is leisurehours.com. Uh, Graham Cracker Comics in Plainfield, Illinois at GrahamCrackers.com. And also the Galloping Ghost Arcade for their generous donation of three all day passes um, for which we will be raffling off uh, later this evening. Yep. Uh, we'll be having that drawing during our sixth hour. So if you haven't bought a ticket yet, you still have a chance. Just come, like, accost us at the studio. $4 or send per us a ticket, message. right? Uh, it's $3 per or two for four. All right. Well, hold on. If you two didn't get, if you two didn't, like, pretty much always get in for free, this would, you know, not yeah, be a thing. Here you go. That's the unfortunate side. We have cash flying in the studio because <laughs> I forgot to chip in for a ticket. Okay. There I will go. get you on here. So, yeah. Cool. Got a raffle ticket. You know, for one more dollar, you could get two. I don't have another single on me. <laughs> can, can I credit that one? No. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> hey kids, here's an IOU. <laughs> so yeah, well, uh, welcome to the show, Shane, Hello. also known as Yeehaw from our uh, from our boards. Yeah, so usually, and usually on the boards is Yeehaw. Right, because so, we can't use your full name on yeah, the air. Yeah, we can't use the full name Wait, on the yes, air. Wait, yes, we can. We can. proved this. Ass, ass, ass. You have oh, to kick y- ass. Yes, <laughs> That's right. We can okay, I guess uh, yeah, ass is on the approved list of words Yes, you just can't FCC. add a certain other descriptors yes. to ass. <laughs> right. So we can't it, it apply can't be afterwards, afterwards, but it could be there. beforehand. All right. So. So moving on, uh, Yeehaw, you're here to discuss what you did this weekend. I was at Yomacon this weekend. Okay, I have no idea what this is, so go ahead and fill me in. Yomacon is Detroit's annual anime convention. I've been mispronouncing it this entire time. Well, I, I couldn't tell you if that's specifically what it's supposed to be or not, but... It's something. Yeah, it's it's something along those lines. I don't... I bought this giant <laughs> roll of raffle tickets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's a ca- we've got a camera. Hold it up to the camera. Uh, I don't know Sweet. if that one's going out ticket. yet, but we were there. There you go. Yeah, no, it's it's a big red roll of uh, raffle tickets. So I was at Yomacon all weekend. Uh, my group credits remaining brought a bunch of arcade games out, and ah, so you were doing business at this. Yes, yeah, so this this was not uh, this was not pleasure though. I did get some pleasure. All right. The whole thing. It was mostly business. But. So what are we talking attendance wise? Because like we've got the two polar ends. We've got. Uh, ASIN, and then we have what I did this weekend, which we'll be talking about later. So, about how many did we have in attendance? Um, I was told. I'm gonna be so mad if you win this because I was gonna call the winner. (laughs) (laughs) I I was told it was somewhere in the range of twelve thousand people. Twelve thousand. Wow. Yeah. And what kind of machines did you end up bringing? Um, we brought from our personal stock. We brought DDR. Or we didn't, we borrowed a DDR. That's that's something I need to specifically show you because bad things happened. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we brought Pump It Up DDR, Ninja Turtles four player, Simpsons four player. Nice. Nice. Uh, a Neo Geo four slot. Okay. Um, Super Street Fighter two Turbo, Puzzle Fighter two Turbo, and Dragon Ball Z two. I think I was Z2 there when Super you bought Miles. that Street Fighter machine. You were. All right. We had this, that was the auction we went to. Okay. But and so yeah. Uh, Yeehaw, you're usually the one who sets up the game room yeah. at conventions. You're responsible for ASEN every year. Uh, you and, like, what, two other guys for ASEN? Yeah, it's... it's. I'm not the DH, but uh, at ASEN, the department head at ASEN, but the department head generally leaves the arcade to me because he knows I know what I'm doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> you are the men of many quarters. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty much the reason that Tilt stayed open in the local mall for as long as it did. It's is, still is, it, it's, there, technically. I think it's still there, but it's... It, kind of a shell. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, bad. it's mostly vacant. I was there just earlier this week. Yeah, they're they're selling off everything. It, it's in its final slide. Yeah, it's it's pretty much done. Um, we all we also borrowed an initial D three. Nice. And the DDR and the Ninja Turtles was actually borrowed from a, a friend of ours up in Racine, Wisconsin. Paul's Arcade. Awesome. It's, it's in a mall in Racine. I uh, don't know. Don't specifically know the name of the mall because I've only been there twice. But, All right. Uh, the fun uh, the fun we had with the DDR is that we loaded it up onto the onto this Ryder rental truck, the big twenty six foot long one. Mm-hmm. Loaded up. It was working when we picked it up. We got there, and the monitor quit working. Oh no! So, uh, I also brought a, my cocktail cabinet that's got classic games in it, but yeah. the power supply on that had just decided to die. Like arcade machines do. These things yeah. are the most unreliable machines on the planet. They, they clearly are. Like just just hearing some of the stories from Doc up at the Galloping Ghost of how he's had to just rig some of these machines, just anything you can do to get it to work, it, it's impressive. Yeah. Uh, so so a DDR super. This is a DDR Supernova two. It's in a DDR upgraded from a DDR Supernova cabinet, and these things are supposed to have flat 20, uh, 29 inch monitors. Yeah, this is where DDR switched from the traditional monitors to the, the like, traditional nice round HD ones, to, ones. The ni- to the nice to the really nice VGA ones. They went from standard resolution to computer resolution finally. Yeah. Uh, and since my cocktail cabinet died and we had that dead, I I wish we could show this on, over the radio. We can put the picture on the We side. did that. Swap in. We, nice. we swapped in a 19 inch LCD monitor. <laughs> We, we we essentially Which just is apparently it. taped to the screen. It's not no, it's not even taped to the screen. Nice. What we did was there's uh, there's a mount set up on there for the uh, for the whole thing. Uh, yeah, the CRT. That is comical. We stacked two three quarter inch pieces of plywood, 
and then a layer of 30 card magic decks on top of it and then set the LCD on top of that with I two like boxes it. behind it to hold it up in, at its angle. I like it. And surprisingly, everybody thought that was really good. <laughs> Whatever works. You it, know, DDR it, players just need to see the arrows yeah. and hear the music. There, there were a couple of small complaints about the size of the screen being too small, but... Too bad? That, yeah. It's either you get the small screen that we, we worked up together, or you get nothing. Yeah. Uh, Light, welcome to chat. Good to have you. Always happy to see listeners on a fine Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. Man, we'll be ending at our normal start time, so... That might throw some people off. Yeah. But uh, aside from that, there's there were, I want to say, at least 16 computers Chat set up. is in all kinds of weird directions. Luca's telling us how she's painting butts today. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I found out yesterday Luca has some obsession with succubi models because she'd been waiting for me to put together a Malifaux Nakima for her for several weeks, and I've just been lazy on this. I, I have not wanted to build this model since I looked at it and was just like, oh, that's so much pinning. Yeah. So many, like, tight points. I, I keep hearing that this model's ankles just will snap off, and you will have to find a complete replacement for them. So I've been avoiding that. So what's her solution? Oh, I'll go buy this, like, giant-sized succubus model that Reaper makes that's, like, three times the size of a regular model. So at least she won't break, but I, I looked at her wings and went, there's more metal in these than in most of the entire miniatures I work on. Hello, and welcome to Q, who's just joined us in chat. Oh, there goes reality. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so uh, what else was available at uh, Yomacon? Uh, Did you do any kind of wandering around? I never got a chance. So uh, you just I know, manned the I, arcade? Pretty much. Uh, I know Team Four Star was there. They, de- uh, they debuted uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged Lord Slug. Okay. It's up on YouTube now if, if you're subscribed to Team Four Star. I, I haven't gotten to watch it yet. All right. Um, we didn't, I didn't get back home until 6.30 yesterday morning. Nice. And that was all driving. But uh, one of the other neat things that was going on at the convention was Dominion Method Gaming was there. Okay. And that included uh, Core, the guy who won uh, Tekken 6 at Evo over the summer, okay. and PR Balrog. So there was a lot second of, at Marvel. There was Marvel. a lot of competitive gaming going on. Yeah, there was a lot of competitive gaming. I actually got to get four games in with PR Balrog at nice. Marvel 3. Nice. Um, he wasn't playing his main team. Because he was me. being nice. Yeah, he was being nice. He was being nice. He was pl- actually playing Super Scroll Storm Chun Li. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he, he's he's just as good with that team as he is. Uh, Scroll is surprisingly good. It's a shame that he's not more popular. Yeah, it is a shame. Uh, I was playing against him with my main team of X twenty three Wolverine Doom, which you've seen quite quite often. I've quite seen often. that one, and you love your hidden missiles. Yeah, I do. I do. But uh, I played four games with him. He got me pretty good on two of them, and I actually got him down to Magic Pixel with his third character in X Factor once. Nice. And um, and in the, in the fourth game, I got him down to his last character with like twenty percent li- life left. But hey. he actually he actually looked at me after the Magic Pixel game. He said that was such a load of BS. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had that game. Happens sometimes. Yeah. But hey, compliments from a pro level player. Yeah, he's he was uh he was very talkative actually. He was talking about uh about seasons beatings and how he sh- how he should have made it to grand finals mm-hmm. because he he played the guy who was in the winners finals and he said I you know I I goofed up I missed two combos I got happy birthdayed yeah so it was just his character got taken down mm-hmm. and, and it I happens it sometimes yeah. the the point of the fighting games especially Marvel is that it's kind of random in nature yeah it is some matches you'll just get completely pummeled with no chance to come back and the they had the game room there was amazing. It was twenty four hours except for a couple of air out shutdowns. Like we had one on Friday because there were there were actually electrical problems going on over to one side. Also, oh, I imagine the smell is pretty bad. Yeah, they uh, they tried to put I think it was forty two amps of power on a fifteen amp circuit, <laughs> and they were trying to figure out why they nice. kept blowing circuits. <laughs> so was this held in a convention center or was this in a hotel? It was. It's a hotel slash convention center in downtown Detroit, the uh, GM Renaissance Center. Okay. It it it's a spire of five buildings. They're, all right. Uh, they're all cylindrical, and one of the buildings is actually GM's hor- corporate headquarters. Cool. So that's one thing to do with your headquarters when you need yeah. money. We'll just we make a hotel. Money, just make a. We'll just put up a hotel in a convention center and make money that way. 
That seems uh, like a great idea. If there's, you ask act, me. there's actually a food court at the lowest level of the hotel. Okay, now that's a good idea because that's something that yeah. these cons always seem to be missing. And they actually had good. Uh, they actually had like real restaurants down there. They had a McDonald's. They had a Subway. They had a Burger King. They nice. Had, um, then they had their various assortment of just random stuff. They had this this place I'd never seen any before. It was called, it was Zoop. Zoop. Z o u p. I've never even heard of this. It's just soup and sandwiches. Good soup. All right, cool. Uh, they had a Mexican place, a Chinese place. Uh, yeah, I, I think if dog. Anime Central had something like that rather than the two-mile walk to McDonald's, I, I would be more inclined to keep going. Uh, b- based on what I know about this coming Anime Central, you're just not going to want to go. Yeah. It's it, not good. It just keeps getting worse. It, yeah, it keeps getting worse. I'm not going to get too much into that. But All right. That'll be a show for uh, when we get a little closer. Yeah, when we get closer, I can I can make comments, but it's bad. Fair enough. All right, so... I don't know, anything else you want to say about Yumicon? Uh, Planning on going back? 30 minutes after we shut down the game room and packed up, the con chair and the gaming, uh, gaming DH came in and personally asked us back for the next year. Nice. So there's a decent chance we'll be going back. Uh, we made money off of it. That's, <laughs> it's, that's it's always what you can hope we for. We made money off of it, and uh, all, of, all of the games I've got except for my dance game are actually, have actually earned back what I've spent on them. Completely. All right. And cool. I'm I'm in profit. Yeah, you now. you didn't pay that much for that Street Fighter game, no. as I remember, because I was thinking about bidding up that one. And like, and then you bid. I'm like, <laughs> you bid and, yeah, I I'm bid not going like, to I'm bid up the bid person who brought me here. <laughs> yeah. I only spent two hundred fifty dollars on the cabinet, and yeah. then I made some trading. And through trading, I got it up there, and all that fun stuff. I actually made a l- little bit of uh, coin too this over the weekend because it was on free play but people will still walk up and drop coins in nice because they don't pay attention yeah you can always rely on people not reading yeah it's quite quite frequent it happens around here a lot too yep uh fair enough hey we've got a call oh, we have a call right are they are they donating money I, maybe they want to they buying ticket. a raffle ticket right. oh hi mark Who's? okay Okay. All right. So I guess while she handles the call, we can continue. So off the topic of Yumicon, something's coming out next week. I think I, I can't quite remember what. Would but, it happen uh, to start with a U I, and end it, with a three? It seems kind of important to the fighting game community as and it, have a uh, ultimate Marvel versus Capcom. In I the hear, middle of it. I hear there's something about a raccoon happening. Yes, Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, He's, uh, he looks mean. Just just getting straight to it. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is coming out next week. And while we have a tournament-level player in the studio, we should Are, probably do some talking about it. I'm I'm looking forward to it. There's there's been a lot of backlash over the whole. It's a only a disc. You can't be, you can't do DLC on it or anything. But but like I tend to ignore that. No underscores. I wish Unreal Tournament three was coming out next week, but uh, <laughs> no, I not think quite. we've got you by almost a decade. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, every I've, everybody I've talked to that enjoys the game generally looks forward to it. Um, I heard, you know, the uh, Angry Joe. Mm-hmm. If you know who the, if everybody out there knows who yeah, that is, anyone he was complaining follow, about it, and he's anyone got, who follows the uh, that guy with the glasses site, yeah, he was complaining about it, but. And well, I've, here's the thing. I know it only came out a year ago, and that it was supposed to have more DLC. It was horribly rushed, too. Yeah, it, it was. Capcom pushed the release date up by almost nine months. Well, one of the reasons we didn't see DLC for it was, oh, giant natural disaster. Yeah, multiple, shutting na- down multiple the entire, natural disaster shutting yeah. down the development studios in Japan. Which, so, getting upset about that doesn't seem to make sense yes people died and you're angry because they uh, because things got pushed back because you didn't get a, another set of dlc characters we. i feel like this is the wrong time to interrupt <laughs> is it i don't know is it <laughs> what, um, what do you have what are we interrupting with oh uh, well the M- mark just called he used to be the general manager at the studio and oh. uh, he was apparently looking for the sh- people who were here before we were and who nope. since left. Uh, he, he just missed yeah left with sandwiches he just missed. Oh well. Oh, oh well. So Back to Marvel saying. Three. <laughs> so continuing. Um, well, it's one of those situations where if you don't want the expansion, if you don't want the extra stuff, don't buy it. Yeah, don't buy it. You show them with your wallet that you don't want it. However, everyone who doesn't care, who is okay paying forty dollars for 
12 new characters and tons of new outfits tons of new modes a fixed online mode hopefully fixed i don't know this is capcom japan we're talking i don't about. know this seems like the actual play tested mode of the game yeah because yeah. they, they have been taking the finished version of this to the game shows and letting people will just stand there and play it and then getting feedback from them on the spot. Well, that and Maximilian on YouTube actually has the game and he's been doing his Assist Me videos and everything. Yeah, I, I he, have enjoyed his Assist yeah, Me series those, with, those are a lot with of Dr. Fun. Doom. Yeah, with, with, as my girlfriend calls him, Leisure Doom. Leisure Doom. <laughs> because he's not the full armor, he's just in the chain mail. Yeah, I did just see the <laughs> one with, uh, with Phoenix Wright in it, which was Yeah, that very was funny. very funny. That was very funny. Max has been producing some good stuff. But, my, uh, but aside from the people that are trying to campaign to other people not to buy the game because they're not going to buy the game, which my general response to them is, go away, I don't care what you think. Yeah, if you don't want it, great. But simply put, this is a lot of content that's being added to the game, yeah. and they've said they're giving bonuses to the people who already have it. Uh, those people are supposedly going to have costumes unlocked from the start. All, all of the DLC costumes from the last one are going to be unlocked, and they're probably going to have something else. <laughs> so I, guess I don't it know. Sucks what. to be the person who bought all of the uh, yeah. DLC costumes. Yeah, it probably does. <laughs> but uh, the, the rest of the people, um, <laughs> it's the non crazy people. <laughs> it seems like quite a deal. Yeah, uh, if you. I mean, even if you go by the rate of how much they charge for the regular DLC characters in the last one, which was $5 for Jill and $5 for Shumagarath, which was actually good in the Jill Assist Me if you saw that one. Oh, I didn't get a chance to see that one. Watch that one. There's a joke about that in there. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, I'm the one who got the collector's version and was like, what? Yeah, I, I got don't the collector's get my version characters. Well. I have to wait a month? Yeah, I know. Um, but if you go by that rate of $5 per, they're giving us 12 characters, which should be $60, but mm -hmm. they're only charging us 40 yeah. And you get 12 new characters, all of whom seem to be better designed than the previous characters. I I was initially extremely hyped for Strider. Now I'm looking at Rocket like, Raccoon like, I want to play him. Yeah, right. I the, just want to screw around with that, this guy. That Rocket Raccoon introduction video oh, yeah. is insane. <laughs> Where he leads off telling Amy that he's going to make a fur or he's going to make a fur coat out of her. Yeah. He's got other good ones, like uh, my version of a coonskin cap is basically me gnawing on your skull. Yeah, Rocket Raccoon. He's mean. He, he's like a British veteran raccoon with high technology explosives. Small, he's the smallest character in the game, and you don't mess with him. Yeah, no, he he seems A bit of a Napoleon named. complex. Actually, he seems to be the hard counter to uh, Hagar and uh, Tronbon. Well, Tron's assist actually got nerfed. Yeah, and it, it needed got, to. It got hit with a nerf bat really hard. Because the last time we were up at the Ghost playing that random all tournament that yeah. we came up with, <laughs> best idea ever. That, by that the way. was really fun. That was a uh, that was Halloween weekend. We just there was supposed to be a Mortal Kombat tournament, and there ended up being a random all Marvel three tournament. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we were there for that for yep. part of it anyway. I, instead of the normal we rules where everyone against. gets to pick their count their uh, their team and and play off with their skills, this was part of your skill is just luck of the draw. Who did you get? And and Norbert got lucky in his first round opponent didn't show up so he only had to play like two games and then he won or got second so funny the dude with the broken hand yeah the, the so dude well. with the broken hand goes on <laughs> all the way through he's a, a friend of mine but. who was saying he didn't want to show up because of his hand and he ends up doing well all night no there, there wasn't really much of a prize to the whole thing no i, I didn't think, think there the, the guy be, i think doc just gave the guy who won just a free pass so and that's really okay though yeah because it was just it was just an off-the-cuff thing but um They've they've actually found out that with Frank West, one of the more recent ones, with his camera leveling up mechanic, uh, yeah. he actually has a fifth level. I was trying to figure out what he's doing in that video. When he takes the picture, he's switching out what weapons he's using? Uh, when he takes the picture, that's uh, the way it's been described is the number of hits he does in a combo increases his background experience points. Okay, and then, and when, then he when he takes the, takes the, picture, the picture, that will actually trigger the level up if you've hit that threshold. Okay. So you can actually, if you've got enough hits in with him, you can actually level up all the way sh just straight to level three. Okay. And you can drink alcohol to increase the way you level. But so after, that would be the explanation of the alcohol consumption in the game. Yes, on that's the, that's on the that's tag. where the alcohol consumption comes in from the game. Because I saw but him after, vomit once in the yeah, video, after and I was ten, like, what it's happened? about after ten real seconds, not time, a timer seconds, he'll actually puke, and it leaves him open. For, so you can try to level up, but. You're leaving yourself open for a combo in ten seconds if you if you haven't covered yourself. Mm -hmm. 
And you can switch out to avoid that, I imagine. Uh, yeah, and one of his assists is actually the is actually the drinking thing, but it's a meter building assist. Okay. So. So yeah, uh, that, that's another thing they seem to be really trying to push with this new version: the assist uh, call-in. Yeah, assist call-in is a little bit different. Some some assists have been modified. Uh, uh, Hager is I, I love our chatters. Pyro's come up with the using a camera while fighting a god seems like a most interesting man in the world thing. It's a physical hit. Yeah, it, I don't it always actually, get it's to a fight hit with if somebody, if, Gorath, but when I do, my weapon is a camera. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love her chatters. <laughs> I love you all so dearly. It's actually a physical hit if yeah. and it hits the entire screen. Because I saw them uh, chaining a combo at the end of it. Yeah, uh, it's got an off the ground. Yeah, it's you. A camera flash is an off the ground in Marvel Three. That's how crazy this game is. It, and that seems to be one of the things they were focusing on with Ultimate Two, getting in some of the weirder characters that they couldn't figure out the mechanics of in the original. Yeah, and. That's Frank, uh, Rocket Raccoon, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright has the most interesting mechanic. I think he's going to be the new Phoenix. Thankfully, they didn't do much of an yeah. change. Yeah, yeah, they. Uh, people are probably just going to call him Lawyer now. Yeah, the lawyer. Yeah. Um, his mechanic where he has to find evidence and then switch to courtroom and then finally get in the. the I, I like the he comeback. Does. He, has to, he has to object. Yes, to get in the comeback phase. Yeah. And then he turns into just a monster. I, I like P Dubs. Maybe that'll catch P-dubs. on. Mm. Go spread it at tournaments. I don't know. I mean, for Amaterasu, they just call her dog. Yep. Because <laughs> yeah, th- these aren't very creative people sometimes. <laughs> nope. They're just looking for the quickest way to get things done. But yeah, it seems like they specifically focused on but adding a lot a of more interesting thing characters. thing that doesn't make it any faster. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, but if you say Phoenix versus Phoenix right, you're still going to probably confuse people. The easiest way is just Gene versus Lawyer. Or yeah, right. Gene, Gene would be the But that's a problem way. if they put Gene from God Hand in. I was as hoping. Future DLC. I really was I, I really do hope because that would be, it would be funny just to see him go up there and do things. His taunt needs to be the God Hand dance. Yeah. The credit dance. <laughs> if You've heard that it. dozens of times, I'm sure, hanging out with me. Come on, it's like my, fav- it's like my favorite ending to a video game ever. <laughs> it is pretty good. It's like, this has nothing to do with the game, but it's a song and dance number inspired by it. Why not? Oh, the the other characters? um, Strider looks like... Strider um, looks like He looks like himself. He's exactly what he should be. He's Marvel 2 plus Marvel 1 Strider. Mm -hmm. So his damage output is great. He's still a glass cannon, but that's fine. Well, that's really what people wanted with him. Yeah. And and they got it. They're like, here, here's the character you expected. Here's, here's I have a feeling Ghost Rider is going to be dominating tournaments for a while. For a little while. People will eventually, uh, will eventually figure out how to get around him. So much off the ground. So much range. Yeah. He's he's horrible in the air, though. Yeah. Then uh, that, that's his one weakness. Speaking of horrible in the air, Iron Fist. Who apparent, has nothing in the air. Not, oh, he's he got nothing in the air. If entirely he's, ground-based character. Apparent, and I think it's cool that they added that. Yeah. Uh, apparently, from what Max was saying in his assist videos, his la- if your if the opponent character is even slightly off the ground, his launcher doesn't hit. They mm-hmm. have to be on the ground. Yeah, because it's a ground stomp. It's, it's, a, it's actually him just axe kicking them and knocking them up in the air. Mm-hmm. Um, Nova's got the interesting mechanic of a few of his moves actually will uh, consume red life to power up the move, which I think is also neat. Yeah, that's you know, that's a neat one. I don't know how well it's going to go over in tournament play on, um, unless you know, you're know you in level 3X Factor and you're just trying to get that last hit in. Yeah. Oddly, the most basic character in the entire expansion seems to be Firebrand, who's just kind of predictable. Kind of predictable, but it, uh, from what I've heard, if he's in uh, if he's in X Factor and he's got his level 3 super active, mm-hmm. it's just bad. Level 3 super is where he turns white. No, that's it? that's his speed up super. The level 3 super is where he gets the hell the other red armor to come in and oh, swoop yeah. down on you. He gets another so one. he's swooping down and you got this other thing swooping down. If they're an X factor, he's got that uh, the you can stack the uh, speed up super too. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. That sounds nasty. And it, and it carries over the level 3 guy. Eep. So he can, he can really mash things up. Um, Nemesis is another big dude. Yeah, because we needed a character that could kill Jean Grey in three hits. I thought that was most of the cast already. <laughs> well, Kuma can do it. Yeah. Oh, he got hit with a nerf bat, too. Yeah, he has lost a lot of health. Which He's kind lost of a lot of health. Me. He's lost a lot of priority, especially on the hurricane kick. Apparently, Capcom decided they didn't like people. Uh, they didn't like everybody using him as an anchor. Yeah, I'll kind of admit I I definitely used a bit too much Akuma. I yeah. may, in fact, be partially responsible for that nerf. Yeah, um, I don't know if they're looking after the Justin Wong, Wong factor on that one because most of his comebacks were Akuma. But uh, X Factor Akuma, 
can take down all three characters. Yeah. It's very easily. X Factor Doom can do that too, and he got buffed. They 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 did a lot of weird buffs. They they did quite a few basic buffs. What did we actually have some bids? Did we? Hold on. Oh no. Yeah, just just some uh, just plugging it in there. Okay. Oh okay. We've so got int- we've got some messages about people with interest. Yeah, and well, that's good as long as we're raising money for charity. Yeah, those people who are interested, uh, if you're listening, we will be getting you more pictures of my painted miniatures so that. Uh, so that we can actually hopefully get someone to bid on this. I don't mind painting for charity. When were we going to take those? Uh, I was assuming this evening. Okay. <laughs> Planning. This, this, uh, I don't know if we need if we need to. We can also relist the auction. Just put it up as like a three-day thing. So uh, I guess back to the subject of Marvel. Uh, what's your new team looking like? What are, what are you thinking you're going to use? Um, well, Nova, Wolverine's getting hurt with the Nerf bat too. Kind of needed it. That speed was yeah, a little the, ridiculous. The speed was a little ridiculous. They took away the uh, invincibility on the Berserker charge, which was really dumb. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, you, most people could live with just the dive kick or the Berserker charge, and Capcom decided they liked the dive kick where it was. They they adjusted the hitbox. So instead of being this giant hit you from <laughs> you half can't the screen, dodge this yeah you can't dodge this and you can punish it better now they decided to take away the invisibility on the berserker tr- on the uh, berserker slash because mm-hmm. all of his moves are berserk or something <laughs> yep so if somebody's swinging at you and you're rushing at them on on the slash you're going to get knocked out of it so I'm probably going to be dropping Wolverine for maybe Strider because I played Strider in Marvel two yeah. and Marvel one. And he seems to have pretty similar mechanics. Yeah. I don't think he's changed much. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work because X-23 and Strider are supposed to play roughly the same game, but I think uh, Strider's more mix-up based than X-23 is. Well, with that combo, if you, as long as you had an anchor character between the two, you should be fine. And Doom, Doom, Doom is an awesome anchor. Yeah, Doom, Doom is a great anchor, and he's actually gotten... For those who haven't seen it, Doom has two what he calls foot dives where he like initiates rocket packs and just launches at you with his feet. And one of them is achieved by just pressing the special button. Uh-huh. And the first one, it just hit and he kind of bounced off. And ultimate, it hits and it causes your, uh, the character it hits to ground bounce. Oh, wow. And it's, consider- and it's about double, uh, double the speed it was before. That's powerful. So uh, Doom got extremely ridiculous with that. Um what he, his jumping heavy, the what we call the butter gun, mm-hmm. in Ultimate Marvel 3 and in Marvel's Capcom 2 moved really slow. It was decent for controlling space, but it didn't do anything. They sped that up. Mm-hmm. That it, needed to happen, though, because yeah. that resulted then, in so many dropped combos. Yeah, so that sped up uh, a lot. And, I mean, just with being able to do, uh, do air axe factor now. Now, X-23 didn't get changed a lot, did she? Uh, she got a bunch of buffs. And frankly, she kind of needed him. Yeah, and she, was, Wolverine she was definitely the on the low end of the spectrum. Yeah, probably one of the weakest hitters. I think damage she- damage wise, no, she wasn't all that good. But a lot of people, a lot of people appreciated what she oh, what she could do. Yeah, she she was great for chaining into other characters' yeah. moves for the, which is, the final. Which hits. is primarily what I did. I I could use her for some cross ups with Doom, but um, several of my friends hated facing my X twenty three. But uh, she got she got some interesting buffs where now instead of her basic attack being just the light, medium, heavy special, medium, medium, heavy special series, once you do the once you do the super jump cancel into the air, it becomes medium, medium, heavy, down, heavy, crescent scythe. Then then you can cancel the crescent scythe into one of her talent dives. So you can you can literally link her shore Yukin into something that slams them down to the ground now. Mm-hmm. Nice. And she uh, she always had high priority in yeah, terms of everything. She, like she does. Claws will prior, that priority you. meaning her her moves tend to win out win out, and if they're blocked, you can't punish them. Yeah, it, it's she's really good at that. It's a shame that my anchor character is getting nerfed, but then again, I think I can understand why. Yeah, you uh, totally deserve it, and you know it. Yeah, Akuma was <laughs> way Akuma's game plan pretty much became hurricane kick as much as you could. I will hurricane kick across the screen. You will try to projectile me, and I will ignore it entirely. Yeah, yeah that's that's basically what it was, and dude, I hated Willie for it. <laughs> my friend Willie played plays Akuma as his anchor, and. That was the only way he could beat me was his other two characters would just die against me and then he would give him with Akuma X Factor level three and beat me to death. Yep. Just 
at that point your your it hurricane pretty in both. your hurricane kick's gonna do fifty percent damage to a, a medium character. Yeah, it's just I do two of them and I just destroyed most of the cast. It's pretty bad. And then if I happen to pull off a uh, a raging demon, I just killed every character. Yeah, level three Akuma raging demon, everyone's dead. Yeah. That's pretty true. But I will say the balance change of allowing you to X-Factor in the air that's should definitely gonna, help Yeah, that's going to screw a lot of things up. Yeah, <laughs> People are going to be like, oh, I can't. Oh, I'll just mash them. Oh, crap. You just air, cap, air X-Factor. But yeah, one Cancel. of the biggest... Like, I'm totally safe. No one is safe anywhere. One of the most annoying things I noticed was you'd get down to that, that last end of the fight... And your opponent would do nothing but spam ranged projectile supers just to, keep to you prevent you from air. landing. Yeah. And, and that would chip you to death. Yeah, they would just try to chip you out as much as possible before you could hit the hit your X Factor and It was annoying. I did I did it too. Yeah, everyone did. Yeah. I mean it was part of the basic strategy of the I game. D- I actually did it to Ra- PR Rog one game. Mm-hmm. I had Doom left and he, one of his characters came in and I just called out the hidden missiles and kept him up in the air. Yep. The, do it. the first few of them missed, the uh, other ones blocked, the other ones came down, and I actually threw them to the ground and started a corner loop on that yeah. character. Oh, I'm actually thinking I really want to add Nemesis to my team. I, I like what he has to offer. I like that he's the ranged heavy that yeah. he wants to be, which is kind of weird. That That is a bit strange, but... but like, I, I've been playing Hulk for the past couple weeks when I when I throw in Marvel just because I really like... I, I don't just spam the downward heavy punch. Although that's really Although good. Although that is a valid it's, strategy. It's a valid... Noah. Yeah? I mean, it's got that invulnerability in the middle of its And now frames. it has more invulnerability. Yeah, now I, it has three ticks of armor. It should have three ticks of armor. It's the Hulk. It's a, the Hulk with a giant fist. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Come on, it's the Hulk. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that reminded me. Uh, one of... You know how the characters talk back and forth mm-hmm. at the end? If Hulk beats Phoenix right, sometimes he'll say, why Suit Man objects so much? Hulk's supposed to be angry one. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I, I'm... That said, the thing I'm looking forward to most is the, the new commentary. Yeah, the new commentary. I want to see what Deadpool has to say to each of the new characters, because he's always got something he, good. He may or may not have anything to say to some of them. It's hard to say. I want to see Deadpool say something to Phoenix Rider Frank West. I would imagine he's probably got something to say to Frank, uh, to Frank West. Yeah, you would think so. They're, they're both kind of the improv fighters. Yeah, they really are. And it got kind of annoying that his chief rivalry in the game seemed to be Dante. It was so much better. Yeah. I, I did like the commentary you got between Phoenix Wright and uh, and She-Hulk. Yeah, seeing as <laughs> yeah that, was, that was good. <laughs> that, that was really... rest, her fist on your face. <laughs> but, but... The, but I was, I'm looking at that. I'm, I'm like, dude, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, but that doesn't work because she's a prosecutor, right? <laughs> yeah, she Hulk's a prosecutor, but in, and Phoenix, Phoenix is a defendant. defendant. Huh? Interesting. Oh yeah, she got hit with the Nerf bat pretty uh, fairly hard too. Kind of needed it. Yeah, I I've Her, played a couple online games against She Hulk's where it's just like, wait, that was a game. I didn't get to move. Yeah. No. Uh, they're she's got that sliding attack. They're taking away range on that. Yeah, that needed to go. Uh, Deadpool, oddly enough, is keeping his, though. They got rid of the Bolo loop. Okay. They they got rid of that. His sliding attack, I don't think, was really too much of a problem because no, the you, zoning wasn't good. You could get away from it. Yeah. And really, it's Deadpool. It's what he does. Oh, well, uh, back on the topic of Yomacon, I was sitting there playing just casual Marvel 3, and I actually played against a kid. This kid was just angering everybody because he was starting off with Wesker, and literally the only thing he was doing was jumping up in the air and shooting the gun. Really? Yeah, he wasn't trying to get in. And oddly enough, my Akuma would have done really well against yeah. that. He wasn't trying to get in. He would, he would occasionally call an assist. He was jumping up in the air, shooting the gun, and teleporting back down to do it again. Mm-hmm. I beat him by uh, <laughs> I beat him by not trying to get in and just waiting for him to teleport down and nailing with my Doom Beam assist. That'll do it. I literally killed him with my assist. All right. <laughs> And, and that's one of the things I always like about these events. If you're playing like a jerk, yeah, the rest of so, the room will tell you. Yeah, and the kid, uh, the kid came back once or twice, and once as soon as I showed everybody how to beat him, everybody just said, "Ugh." Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how we do it. We just nail him. Yeah, you you don't try to get in. You don't use your normal tactics. You just adapt to it. Yeah, he he got me one game, but I beat him two out of three overall. So, mm-hmm. yeah, um, that that is rather annoying. And. Uh, 
the it's, range spam that exists. Oh no! Just just in general, when so, when somebody like has like their one modus operandi, and they 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 can't deal with it when somebody has a way around it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, that that's one of the strengths of the game. For every strategy you have, there's a counter for it. Mm. Someone can beat you. And I could tell you while I was playing, I was I was kind of leaning on one or two things that were uh, the same thing. I was uh, I was either using X-23's medium mirage feint to hop behind people or Wolverine's berserker slash to get behind people. Yeah. While Doom's beam was coming one way. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's a nasty left right cross up. Yep. It, it, I I caught Rog with it a couple times. And it still exists in Ultimate. Yeah. That, that it still exists in away. Ultimate, but Wolverine's a little. Yeah, uh, Wolverine. Worse, but I'll got, just trade. I'll just exchange it for a Strider teleport. W- Wolverine got a little nerfed, and thankfully Wesker got really nerfed. You've been cheering about this since it was first. Oh, well, yeah. Wesker has half the health that he used to. No, they only took him down a little bit. <laughs> He's now a medium health character instead of heavy health. He's at the upper end, upper edge of the medium. Yeah, I think so. Deadpool now has more health than Wesker, though. It, which makes sense considering you know healing factor. I think Wesker has one of those too. No, I, I considered... He with, did survive being thrown in a volcano for a while. He did. Until he got decapitated by a rocket launcher. That's true. But that actually killed him, killed him. With Deadpool, we can hope. With Deadpool, you can't really kill him. Yeah, no. Nothing can kill Deadpool. <laughs> because he's cursed to live forever. Yep. So, yeah, I, I guess that's good. We have less high health characters coming in this time. Yeah, it seems like the the overall life kind of shifted. I down. imagine they probably looked at that and went, this is probably a bad idea. Well, there's only two high health characters coming in with Ultimate. Uh, Nova is pretty high Nova's health. Nova's pretty high up there, and Nemesis is... And Nemesis is extremely Nemesis high is up there. Uh, Phoenix Wright's actually up the, at the upper echelon of the medium health characters. He's, because he's he's more durable he than, spends most of his games getting pummeled. Yeah, he's more durable than Sentinel now. That's funny. That that is funny. Phoenix Wright could take more punishment than a giant robot. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Th- Thor and Tron, Thor, Tron, and Hagar are still up at the top. And, and when you think Does about, does anyone it, actually play Thor? Uh, I, I know of one person. Yeah, I was seeing a couple Thor players the last time I went to the Ghost, but it was all the same guy. Yeah, uh, Thor's biggest problem is he's not. He has no speed mm-hmm. whatsoever. He, his, and uh, usually those and- usually those characters make up for it by having some kind of like far lunge attack. Thor has nothing. Thor's got, he's got not a, what is he's it? got a pretty a mighty powerful something. ranged attack. It's mighty something where he just kind of <laughs> launches himself at the opponents, but it's so bad on the ground that it. That I was I was thinking really maybe mighty tornado, but that doesn't sound right. No, nah, mighty tornado is one of his supers. That's the one where he yells by Odin's beard. What's the move where Odin like gives a five minute speech? I was trying to do it the other day. Odin give or Thor, or Thor gives, gives a, a speech. Yeah, uh, he gives a speech and it powers up his uh his meter. It's he, down down heavy. Okay, and Thor and will he just, just talk. He just taunts, and he builds meter. I think they actually changed his assist, so he has that as an assist. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, you can just have Thor come out and speech at you, at your <laughs> opponent now, which is <laughs> pretty nice. And that that really is one of the things I always like about Marvel over other fighting games. It has a sense of humor about itself. It, it knows, yes, this is not the most competitive technical fighting game ever, yeah. So we will make up for it by being funny and being weird and being characterful. Which which, which is a word. Perfectly now. fine. <laughs> I'm copywriting that word. You should. You Trade should. It's Mighty Spark. Is the Trademark the nerd. My, Mighty Spark is the pro- you know, The problem with Mighty Spark is except the for problem the light. is all of his moves are mighty something. Yeah. So. There is a lot of might. might. But uh, with Thor, Mighty Spark, unless you're using light, has horrible startup. Another thing, light, that, has another thing that they're eliminating in Ultimate. Your mega taunt, for instance, is mighty speech. Mighty speech. Mighty speech. Mighty punish. Mighty strike. Mighty tornado. Mighty mouse. Yeah. Um, By Odin's beer. <laughs> mighty smoke. We've also got... Uh, trying to remember what line of logic I was just There's on. There's also mighty punish, which doesn't even seem to make sense. Uh, that's his uh, oh. super grip. Yep. Iron Man appears like he's actually going to become a tournament competent character because he now has, he now has the lead up on all of his moves cut in half. Yeah, he had the lead up on his moves cut in half. He he uh, lost double jump, but his flight got better. Mm-hmm. And you can actually chain into his launcher now properly instead of instead of I'm going to try to oh, I shot you with a missile on the launcher. Ah, uh, yeah. I think they actually set that. They changed the angle on that a little bit. It's more horizontal now instead of. Instead, Instead of, of straight down. Straight down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that 
might help. He's, I mean, he's still got the, the Unibeam assist is still really good, but as mm-hmm. a character, in, as a character, hopefully he will hold up. A hopefully bit better he's now. a little better because I really like playing as Iron Man. I think the extremist suit is awesome. Yeah, I really like uh, the voice that they got for him this time. Yeah, they actually did, they picked a good voice. Most of the voices are pretty good. Uh, I didn't have a, lo- a lot of problems. Admitted, when I was watching the Rocket Raccoon video for the first time, <laughs> it like, took what? it took everything I could not to just spend the whole time focusing on his voice. Cause yeah. The, the gristled British This thing veteran weighs voice. more than I do when he throws that trap. It, it is, he is a ridiculous character who I think is going to be crazy in the in-game. Yeah. I mean, he can burrow underneath the ground. Yes, which he's, I, he I love them showing he's that He's invulnerable when he's underground. Yep. You cannot attack him. But likewise, wait, that's going to lead to a lot of people just spamming that move at the end of the uh, match. He's, he's completely open out. when he comes back up. Okay, so there is a delay yeah, when there's he there's a delay gets when up. he comes back up. So when he comes back up, you can get him. But if, say, somebody's got Storm and they know how they put out Hailstorm, you can just go underground. And you could probably be underground as, the entire As would raccoon. be appropriate. Yeah. The raccoon burrows. The raccoon burrows and avoids hailstorms. <laughs> Thank you, Capcom. You're hilarious. Oh, I watched the video for Frank West, and I actually thought, wow, this guy actually looks like a competent fighter. Yeah. This it seems awesome. Very strange. I, I love the super where he pulls out the ultimate zombie cart and just runs you over with it. A lot of people were sad that he didn't get the real Mega Buster super that, that he had in TVC, but... Uh, mm-hmm. But that just got the Mega Man people hoping that they're actually going to throw Mega Man in. Nope. Not happening. It's not coming. Capcom would rather forget that Mega Man exists. Yeah. I mean, the Mega Man games were good, but... And we have Zero. And really, Zero has everything Mega Man has, plus a sword. Yeah, Zero... And long, flowing locks. You can't forget and, those. And the long, yes, flowing that. hair. Zero really fits more into a fighting game than X does. Yeah. Because, I mean... He's a close range. He's more of a close range fighter traditionally, and it's a fighting game. What mm-hmm. are you gonna do? Have X sit back there and whine and shoot his gun? Yeah, it always looked kind of ridiculous when Mega Man was yeah. just kicking you with his boots. Yeah, he was kicking you with his boots and then shooting you with his gun. It's a jump and shoot man, mm-hmm. <laughs> like the sequelitis thing. If you haven't seen that, do uh, do look that up. Uh, sequelitis Mega Man versus Mega Man X. Um, we couldn't play it on the radio. There's a lot of swearing, but, right, it's, but it's funny. Okay, do more recommendations. So, it looks like we're going to take a break. Oh, I suppose we should. Yeah, I actually do have to go back to work. Yeah. (laughs) Unfortunately. Yeehaw does work here, so. (laughs) All right, well, thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate it, and we will see you another time. Good way to spend lunch. (laughs) All right. All right, see you guys later. All right, take care, Yeehaw.